Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I want to show you another way to add value to your visual when using buttons as card visuals, and that's by adding the ability to show an alternative value when hovering over the visual, providing even more ways for the user to interact with and explore their data. Now this is actually an awesome suggestion by Matt Chaplin in the comments of a previous video. So Matt, thanks for the inspiration. And otherwise, let's hop into Power BI and get started. So to start with, I'll mention that this video is reusing some cards that I made in a previous video. If you notice the background shadow that is on this visual here does actually have an effect where it changes colors based off of that. I recently showed how to turn the shadow into a KPI a couple months ago, so I'll go ahead and link you to the video here. But otherwise, I wanna talk about the actual effect that we have here, where if you take your mouse and you hover over the element, you can actually get an alternative hover effect essentially a tooltip showing up right here, which is a really, really cool way of adding extra value into the visual. And in order to do that, let me go ahead and show you here. What I have done, and similar in some of the previous videos that I'll include in the description for related links, is I'm actually using a card to generate this. There's a few different reasons that we might want to actually use a card. One, we can actually choose the alignment on here with that button text. If I wanted to have it in the top, center, left, or right, I actually have the flexibility to do that. And again, I have another video on this I did recently, so I will link you to that as well. But another added effect is that the buttons themselves have multiple states. So I can actually choose the text for the default state, the on hover, or the on press state, and potentially the disabled for some other alternative options. But primarily, it's the on hover that I care about. So my default state is one field value that's in here, which is just my KPI. And again, to use this button effect here, they have to render to text. They can't actually be a number. So if I actually open up my fields pane, you'll see that I have my page views KPI. That's just something that generates an end result of a formatted text string down here at the bottom, which is basically just the value and a little up arrow to show that it has an upward trend. And then if you hover, you can actually see what percentage did it increase this month. Now the actual metrics themselves aren't as important where this conversation is more about the actual effect. But as you can see here, I have one KPI value in here for my measure being returned as the default. And then on my hover, I actually have another one in here, which is actually my current month text, which is this one here. So either way, regardless of what you have being displayed, you can have two different things being returned within here to create that really cool little hover effect. And again, Matt, thanks for that suggestion. This is a great way to add just one further layer into this to get even more value out of a card. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below.